Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I'll talk about uh, the pulp stones, also known as denticles. So watch this video till the end. So what are pulp stones? Pulp stones, they are basically ectopic or abnormal calcifications within the dental pulp. These calcifications, they comprise of calcium phosphates and has composition that is closely resembles the dentine. And the pulp stones may be single or multiple. So this is a picture of longitudinal section of a molar tooth. In this picture, you can see a single pulp stone in the pulp chamber. This is a second picture. In this picture, you can see multiple pulp stones. This is one pulp stone, second pulp stone, third, and this is a this is another type of pulp stone that is in the embedded in the in the root dentine. There are several ways of classifying the pulp stones. One of the classification is true pulp stone and the false pulp stone. So what is true pulp stone? True pulp stones are those pulp stones that contain the dentinal tubules. And uh, those stones, they are surrounded by the odontoblast-like cells. So this is a picture of a true pulp stone. In this pulp stone, you can see a tubular structure that is similar to this dentine. This dentine also, normally the dentine also has tubules. So this stone also contain tubules. That's why this stone is known as the true pulp stone. And the periphery of the stone, it has cells that are similar to that of the odontoblast. So the odontoblast-like cells, they surround the periphery of the stone. Now, what are the false pulp stones? The false pulp stones do not have any tubular structure and they are not associated with odontoblast-like cells. So this is a picture of a false pulp stone. It do not have any tubular structure. This is a picture of the false pulp stone and the cells, they are not surrounded by any odontoblast like cells. Another way of classifying the pulp stone is uh, free pulp stones and the attached pulp stones. So free pulp stones are those that are surrounded by the pulp tissue. So again, this is a picture of a pulp stone. And in this picture, the pulp stone is surrounded by the dental pulp. It has no connection with the dentine, uh, dentinal walls. Now, what is attached pulp stone? Attached pulp stone, it form a union with the dentine wall. Uh, maybe initially, uh, the attached pulp stones are the free pulp stones, but they become embedded. Uh, because of secondary dentine deposition. So they become later, they become the attached pulp stone. In this picture, you can see this is the pulp stone that is attached with the, with the dentine. Sometimes this attached pulp stone, they be, it, it become completely embedded within the dentine. In that case, sometimes it is referred as embedded pulp stone. So the pulp stones, they are usually asymptomatic. Uh, they are rarely detected on the radiograph uh, and to be detected on the radiograph, they must be of large size and uh, have sufficient mineral uh, density within the stone. They rarely cause any problem, but uh, they may cause problem during endodontic treatment in which uh, the dental pulp is removed, uh, removed, so they may cause some troubles during endodontic treatment especially when these stones, they are present within the radicular pulp. So these uh, calcifications, they are usually found around the uh, black thrombi uh, or the dead cells. Thank you very much for watching. Stay blessed.